Hello everybody, my name is Alpha Mega Zulu and welcome to a game called The Force Awaken Fuck. Hello everybody, my name is Alpha Mega Zulu and welcome to a game called The Force Awakens Ah Fuck, I did it again. Hello everybody, my name is Alpha Mega Zulu and welcome to a game called The Force Unleashed 2. Now, this is indeed the sequel to the original The Force Unleashed game which came out years ago. And Honestly, it is probably one of the best Star Wars video games to ever come out, ever. Like, it's definitely up there in the top three, at least. Like, Star Wars uh, Battlefront 2, uh, the original Star Wars Battlefront 2, by the way, not the EA one. Republic Commando, and The Force Unleashed. So, it's probably, it's definitely up there as one of the best Star Wars games. So, this is the sequel to that classic game. And, we will definitely be getting into it now. Unfortunately, it is not nearly as long as a game, nor do I really think it's as good. Now, I have filmed this before, but due to some issues with the recording, I have decided to go back and film this first episode again. And I've already filmed all the episodes, all the previous, uh, future episodes to this series. I've already filmed them all, but I've come back and am re-filming this just because there were some issues with audio and video that I would like to fix. So that's why I'm refilming this. So I've already played the game, just so everyone is clear. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. And I'm very excited to go ahead and do this because uh, the gameplay is still really fucking good. So we're going to do this on Unleashed. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And nothing gets me more pumped for a Star Wars game than the opening credits. In fact, let me go get my awesome Star Wars helmet. I always get pumped for reading these things wearing this. The Force Unleashed 2. The galaxy is on the brink of civil war, inspired by the sacrifice of Darth Vader's secret apprentice, a ragtag rebel alliance plots to overthrow the evil galactic empire. The Imperial forces in relentless pursuit of the rebels have captured the Jedi Knight Ram Kota. In its general loss, the Alliance fleet has vanished. While the Empire searches for the Rebels, Darth Vader has put a dark plan into motion that will bring an end to his apprentice's legacy. Yep. Yeah, that's basically the gist of it. No Star Wars game is complete without a crawl. That's literally my only nitpick of uh, Republic Commando. Just to get off topic there. But yeah, you can't have Star Wars without a crawl. Everyone knows this. Except maybe the fucking Star Wars stories that Disney makes, but you know, we're, we're not going to talk about that. Alright, here we go. Seeing Darth Vader always puts a smile on my face. He is definitely up there as one of the greatest movie villains of all time. No question. No question. Star 
Star Killer's Jedi mentor has been captured. General Koda. Yes. When your training is complete, you will travel to Kato Nemoidia and execute him. Vader thinks he's turned you. But I can sense your future. And Vader won't always be your master. You are still haunted by visions. Yes, master. I... sometimes smell a forest on fire. I see the general falling and I feel the ground shake as a starship crashes around me. I hear... a woman's voice when I try to sleep. They are the memories of a dead man. A side effect of the cloning process and the memory flashes used to train you. They will fade. And if they don't... Then you will be of no use to me. Starkiller's emotions made him weak. You must destroy what he created. And you must learn to hate what he loved. Aw, oh, don't make me have to kill the girlfriend. Come on now. Don't be a dick, Vader. All right, here we go. Ooh. Also, I have these lightsabers. I got the red and I got the black lightsaber. And the black and the thing about this game is the different lightsabers you have have different effects. So some of these lightsabers actually um, do things that are different than others. Like there's a healing lightsaber and then there's the disintegrating lightsaber, which is what I have with the black lightsaber. But I just like the black lightsaber. It looks cool. Don't make me leave another life. But now the fate of this alliance rests only with you. Who are you? You're still loyal to Vader. After he branded me a traitor and tried to kill you... What is this? Oh, hi there. Alright, let's uh, super push. Don't make me leave another life. So yeah, this game is actually really easy, however, it's also really easy to die if you just fuck up. Alright, let's kill her. Wait! Don't. Juno? Yes. Strike her down. I can't! You will! You were created to do my bidding. <sighs> then it is as I feared. Why is this happening to me? The accelerated cloning process is still imperfect. Those who came before you went mad within months. I believed you would be the first success. But it seems you are to suffer the same fate. What will you do with me? <laughs> Pretty good feeling I know what he'd do with him. I have a good feeling about this. Yeah, and I... Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you don't just do that to Vader and get away with it. We are out of here. See ya. Yeah, if you attack Vader, you better run. Because he will kill you. And here we go. One of those scenes that feels like I'm playing Shattered Dimensions. The falling and everything. Man, that was... Actually, now that I think about it, that game's actually old now. Now that I think about it. Shattered Dimensions. Wow. I haven't really thought about that game in a while. You know those scenes in that game when you're uh, just falling down as uh, 2099 Miguel O'Harris. Just this reminds me of that so much. But yeah, we need to get out of here and save ourselves before Vader gets us. Here we go. Game start. Let's go. 
Oh, and also, it's actually real. Did I mention this game is really easy? Because they really overpower you. No joke. I don't think there's a single movie character that even comes close to the power that Starkiller has in this game. No shit. Alrighty then. Yeah, no, these guys do not stand a chance. We are way overpowered. Thank you. Oh! No, yeah, I'm already almost dead, but that's okay because the checkpoint system in this game is really good. Oh, and then these guys who have these weird staffs that feel like uh, they belong to be working with General Grievous or something. Yeah, and they're just that easy to deal with. They're not even hard. You just gotta have the force. May the force be with me. Not even a problem. You can just tear through this game. Uh-oh. Oh, what the heck did that guy do that for? Oh! He just literally ran himself into the fan for no reason. Ah. Uh, yeah. They got me. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to die when you have this game on a harder difficulty, but at the same time, you tear through some of these guys. You absolutely just destroy some of them. Oh, here's something I can do. Yep. Just hit him with a TIE Fighter. Oh, I cut that dude's head off! Oh, and that's another thing I love about this game. They are not shy when it comes to dismemberment. Like, a lot of games won't even attempt to have limbs or body parts fly around but this game uh-uh you can have you can cut their heads off their arms off their legs whatever their dick boy wouldn't that suck and i'm pretty sure he's oh yeah he's dead pretty sure he's dead Oh, oh, oh! Bye! <laughs> See ya! The force is so overpowered. You cannot stop someone. This is why if I had superpowers, I would want to have telekinesis. Because if I could just fight all my enemies like that, that would just be perfect then. Because like, no matter how powerful you are, I can just do this to you. I also have a super force ability that I'm not using. Not quite yet. Probably should have used it right there, but uh, no. No, I'm trying to, trying to save that for a scenario where I really do need it. Like roughly near the end. And it is so devastatingly overpowerful, overpowered or whatever of a move it is, that is really no point of even playing the game at that point. There is literally no challenge to this game. Almost, almost. There are a few points where uh, things can take forever to defeat. A few overly stayed bosses. But yeah.
But you'll see those in, in later in the series. Because I'm just I'm just refilming this episode, but I've already beaten the game. I've already filmed myself beating the whole game for the first time. There we go. Take them out. Nice. Look at this guy dancing. What are you doing, dude? I'll let you just sleep that off. Alright, you don't have to show me. I know what to do. Any secrets? No. Also, I love the dynamic um, physics in this game. How things will move and bend to you just hitting him. There is nothing for you here. Sheesh. That is a very dark force ability. Don't you don't you just think it's weird how only Jedi can do that? Like, one of the most horrifying powers you could possibly have. And the Jedi use it. Nonchalantly. I mean I'm using it, and I'm not really a Jedi here, but I am taking memories from the Jedi that I used to be in the first game. Damn it. Oh, that's right. I know how to de destroy those things. You got to use uh, lightning. All right. So a little bit of a drawback there, but we're going to tear right through this. Boosh. Oh. Boosh. Nope. Come on. Oh! There we go. Well, alrighty then. I'm warning you. And skidoosh. Oh, he just got vaporized. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Oh, here we go. Whoa. Alright, I can use um, them. There we go. Ooh. All right, here we go. And now we got to deal with this guy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this works too. Damn. See how overpowered I am? Oh, I just cut his head off. One one swipe, man, that's enough.
Can I get him to fight? Oh. Alright, I just got him to kill himself. Yeah, for the Empire, do that. You are surrounded. Yeah, go kill yourselves. That's not dark or anything. Did I also mention that one of the things I love about this game is the actor who actually plays Starkiller? I forget his name. I'm trying to remember his name. I've been trying to remember his name this whole time, but uh, yeah, no, he's a huge Star Wars fan. I've seen him on, like, Star Wars trivia shows, and, uh, boy, he is a mega fan of Star Wars, and I love it. Alright, one more hit. Oh, and we got these guys, the jetpack troopers. They are very annoying. Ah, damn it. They get one hit on you. All you need is just one lucky hit, and you're dead. Because uh, your health goes down quick in this game, and you do not get it replenished as often as you would think. But it's okay. Because you immediately start back only a bit back and you're at full health, so it's all good. Just a bit of backtracking. This guy's still alive? Nope. Alright, then we gotta deal with this guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and that guy's just in the camera. Alright, now we gotta deal with another one of these stupid robots. But I don't have the ultimate uh, move I was using. So I'm just gonna have to fight him normally. Which is fine. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Oh! Alrighty then. He got me. So that means I'm gonna have to... I hope I don't have to go back all the way. Otherwise, that would be very bad. Yep, it put me back all the way. Alright, so I'm gonna have to be careful at that point. Let me try avoiding a few hits. Alright, I wish my force would, uh, you know, charge a little faster, but then I'm already so overpowered. Like, like there's no real point in that. That is so goofy looking. Alright, we got this guy. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh. Oh, he already took out those other guys. Alright, here we go. Full health. Pretty much. Take him out. Oh, no. Alright, I've already taken out all the stormtroopers. Oh crap! He froze me! 
I fully expect him to start making Mr. Freeze puns any second now. Ooh. Okay, back up. Come on. Stop that. Alright. Nice. See, I can catch the freeze ball as he shoots, or throws at me or shoots, whatever. Uh, and just toss him back at him. Which is really awesome. Really good detail. Also, we got this quick time event, which really isn't much of anything. Because you just press the X button once, and then he's done. And that's it. Not much of a quick time event, but okay. I, at least it wasn't a hard one. You know, sometimes they get a little ridiculous in video games with the quick time events. Oh, crap. Oh, go, 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 go. Out of the way. Out of the way, troopers. Run. Crap! Go! Wilhelm, no! Ah, uh, he's dead. They're all dead. And we got this giant tower to deal with. This is kind of where I was hoping I would use the ultimate move. But, uh... I guess I'm too low. Oh, you're not going anywhere, dude. You picked a bad time to be a pilot. Should have been a janitor. Like Finn. There you go. And dead. Yeah. You know, some people say Star Wars is like for kids and all that, but look at how many people you're just killing in this game. I know there are some people who look at Star Wars as nothing but uh, fairy tales for boys or children but it really isn't it it is a pretty dark story when in the hands of the right writer and here we go looks like i actually did have um enough juice or they just gave it to me to do this ultimate force move and oh my goodness it's so awesome and it just fell on me Oh, crap. Can I take that ship and just crush it, too? Oh, I just decapitated like 50 of them at once! Alright, I will definitely take that TIE Fighter, thank you. Dude, you better move! Look, you're tough and all, but fucking Vader's gonna kick your ass if you don't get out of here. I think it's weird how he didn't just grab the ship and then pull it back, but then again... I don't know, it's just... The Force is weird sometimes when it comes to storytelling. It does what it needs to. For a story. Oh! This kind of reminds me of episode two. Yeah, you see, you even got some creatures in the background there from uh, the fight on Geonosis. You're running out of executioners, Baron. I'll try. No, and it's those really totally places. not racist aliens. My lord. But my lord, is that legal? I can't really do the good I voice for it. Squat in the hangar. I'll meet him there. But my lord, is that legal? I 
I like the city there. It's kind of cool how it's just arching over, just hanging down there. It looks upside down, but it's actually just hanging there. It's really cool. I like the design of a lot of the Star Wars cities. Hey, how's it going? I was expecting Lord Vader. The Jedi. Where is he? Oh, he's alive. For the moment. He's been in the arena for seven days. What are the Imperial security codes for this sector? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that wasn't the codes. And... Alright, guys. Well, as fun as this has been oh ah, crap oh crap oh, I guess I didn't need that oh ah oh, shit they're gonna throw more at me okay well guys as fun as this has been unfortunately that is actually all the time I have for this video ladies and gentlemen if you like the video make sure to like down below and subscribe for awesome videos and I will definitely continue this in the next video. See ya!